There we go, that's a fish. All right, so today I'm gonna start off throwing the Zara Spook and Bone Color, my favorite top water to use. And I'm throwing it on my Pen Battle 4000 on my St. Croix Mojo Inshore 7.6 medium power rod. Got 20 pound braid, and I have about a three foot section of 25 pound leader. So right in front of me, I have an oyster bar. This is a pretty common spot that I come to. I've already seen some snook blowing up on this little uh, sunken log. So I'm just gonna cast around this entire area and even out in front of me, see if I can get my first redfish on top water or maybe some snook or trout. See what happens. It's a pretty high tide right now, so water's kind of pushed up well up into the mangroves and onto the oyster bar. So let me try getting it right on top of the oyster bar. I'm gonna give this a couple casts. If I don't get anything in the like five, 10 minutes of throwing this lure, I'll go ahead and put a, put a different lure on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and change lures to something a little bit darker, like a little swim bait. So I'm rigging up a DOA cowl. This is in the root beer color because the water is very stained right now. For some reason, I don't know why, but the best thing to do in darker water is to try and focus on using darker baits. So that's what I'm trying to do, and I just have it on a 1 8 ounce uh, jig head right here. It's gonna be bouncing this around the oyster bar, see if I can get some redfish or snook. All I'm doing is just kind of slowly retrieving it and then pause and then give it a bounce. So it kind of swims and flutters that tail. And then when you pause, it will fall down into the grass and then you just kind of bounce it out of the grass. There we go, that's a fish. That's a good snook. That's a pretty good snook right there. Come on. That's a really good snook. Nope. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, he's on this side of the, the log. Holy crap, I got lucky with that. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. He's coming. Here we go. Nice snook. He's coming right at the boat. This is a really nice snook. Wow. All right. I will take this. Come on, dude. That's like a 30 inch snook right here. Let me get the net. Come on, dude. Come on. Got him. That's a nice snook right there. Holy crap, let me bring him up here. Dang, that's a nice snook. All right. DOA cow coming in clutch for me. Look at that thing right here. Let me pop that out. Right there, root beer colored DOA cow. Don't freak out. That is a nice fish right there. Let me measure him up and see what he is. Right there. He is 29 and a half inches. That is a very solid fish right there. I will take that any day. Let's go ahead and get the release on this big girl. Look at this fish right here. That's so sick. There you go. Start fighting me. Good. There she goes. Perfect. Definitely cannot complain with that fish. That's a good way to start the day right there. Close this up. Close everything back up and get regrouped. That fish did not even fray my line at all. How did that happen? Good job, DOA cow. Let's keep going. I'm really glad I made the switch to the DOA cow. With the sun coming up like this and the water looking as stained as it is, I thought it would just be a better option to throw a darker swim bait like this as opposed to a bright white top water. And 
Honestly, I don't think that fish would have hit top water, so I'm very glad that I switched. I was actually gonna be stubborn and like only throw top waters today, so I'm glad that I obviously made that switch. And honestly, you just gotta read the situation that you're given and make the best decision. And I'm glad that I ended up not being stubborn. Usually when I'm trying to get that inshore slam, the snook is usually the hardest part. So the fact that I already got that out of the way makes me pretty confident that I could probably get this done and probably on this one lure. So I, oh, and probably on this one lure. So I'm gonna see if I can just throw this root beer DOA cow for the rest of the day and see if I can get a slam on it, get a redfish and a trout. And I want to get a good size slam. Anything over 60 inches, I'll be happy. And that just means like a combined total. Actually, no, I already got like a 30 inch snook. So anything over like 70 probably would be good. So that means I need to get a combined total of the length for my snook, redfish, and trout to be over 70 inches. Honestly, 60 would be fine, but the fact that I already have a 30 inch snook makes it a lot easier to get that 70. So let's see if we can get it done today. There we go, there we go. First cast at this spot. What is this? Oh, it's a nice, uh, it's a decent red. I will take that. Come here, dude. Oh yeah. Come here. I will take that any day. Woo! It's like an 18, 19 inch red right there. Perfect, exactly what I was looking for over at this spot. He choked that DOA cow. There we go. Nice little redfish right there. Not a monster, but I'll take it. Let's see what he's at. He is 18. Little 18 inch red right there. Let's get the release on him. So for right now, I have a pretty much a 48 inch slam going on right now. Obviously I need to get a trout for the slam, but doing pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and keep fishing this spot because this probably has a lot of redfish on it. See if I can get a bigger red and also it's just a lot of fun. So fish this a little bit longer, go around this island, get some more reds hopefully, and then I'm gonna go after some big trout. All right, so I'm done targeting the redfish. I wanna go get the trout to fish my slam. So right now I'm just gonna head over to this grass flat that's over here and start targeting some trout. All right, so all this is is just a big old grass flat with some sandy potholes. And I've caught a lot of trout here. So I'm gonna see if I can knock out a trout or two right quick, hopefully a bigger one to add to the slam. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go and try and target some bigger redfish. So let's see if we can get this trout. There we go. Trout right away. Literally first cast I got the trout. All right, he's not a monster, but he'll complete the slam if I can get him in. Come here, dude. There he is. All right, I'll go ahead and measure him just so we know what size slam I'm at right now. There we go, complete the slam. Zero, all right, he's 13 inches. See you, little dude. All right, what was I at? I was at 48. All right, so I'm at 61 inches so far. Let me see if I can just get a bigger trout. I wanna get one that's like around 18, 20 inches. That would be good. Then hopefully I can go get a bigger redfish too. Second cast in a row. Another little guy. There he goes. He was about the same size. So shortly after catching that trout, a couple storms started to form pretty quickly around me. So 
what I did was I tried to film like a very quick outro for you guys and I didn't realize that my camera was still zoomed in. So this is what it looked like. So I think that's gonna wrap up today. I got a couple of storms forming, so I gotta run back before they hit. Yeah, you don't need to watch the rest of that. It's pretty weird. But I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Ooh.